All right, we're going to go and chat to our super fan in just a bit, Marek, but you know how much I hate buzzwords. Oh, you really hate them. <laughs> so much. And there's a huge one being uh, banded around with Australia, regeneration. Mm. Regeneration. You know why? Because all the old guard are gone, pretty much. Who's gone? Lucas Neal's gone. Gone. Mark Schwarzer. Gone. Harry Kuehl. Gone. 132 years combined. Gone. No, no, that's the combined age. But they still got Tim Cahill. Mm -hmm. The great white hope. They love him so much in Oz. They've named an expressway after him. You know what it's called? Tim Cahill Expressway. <laughs> so original. They've got such a tough group as well. I, I don't think they've got a chance, Marek, but I don't know enough about the young players, so we could be totally wrong. Well, let's go and find out and speak to this super fan. Let's do that. He'll tell us more. Come on. Jeremy, good news. you got a pretty straightforward group. Pretty easy. The last two World Cup finalists and Chile, so yeah, it's great news. When you saw that, were you gutted? Better to get beaten by the best than probably lose to some smaller nation. Are you going to score any goals this tournament? If we score one, we'll be happy, I think. If you get a goal, that will qualify as success. Just respect. If we lose one nil or we draw, we'll be happy. It's difficult, isn't it, when you've got such a tough group yep. to play your natural game, but what is the natural Aussie game right now? Is it attacking? Is it very oh, defensively minded? I think we look bad defensively. We've got some talented young players coming through the midfield. Gutted that Robbie Cruz isn't going because he's one of your stars. He's one of the few shining lights that's proven himself, I think. So yeah, he, he's a big loss. But I think we've, we've got some other young players who can sort of fill in his spot. Who are the players we should watch out for then, Nick? Or are they just all rubbish? Proven quality, we've got Marco Braschanio and Timmy Cale. I think for the young talent coming through, we've got Tom Rodgick, Curtis Good, who's signed by Newcastle, he's only 21. People like Tommy Orr, and I think that might be our advantage, is that people don't know who they are. Your kit is gradually turning into a 17s Brazil kit. Is that some sort of psychological thing? Our kit's embarrassing, and I think it's OK if we embarrass ourselves on the football field, but please, we can control what we're wearing. Weren't you gold and green? We used to have a blue outfit. I don't know what that was about, but that looked the best. I was reading something about a slogan about hopping. The slogan's hopping our way into history. It's not very popular, and whoever is in the marketing team should be fired. Is there a song that goes with it? I don't know. I hope not, because it'll even be worse. Your formation's a bit weird, isn't it? You play like a 4 2 1 3. I don't know, it's more like a phone number than a formation, isn't it? <laughs> Against Spain, we might have to play three goalkeepers and, and play eight, the rest eight at the back. Let's predict those games. Let's start with the Chile game. What do you think this is? Chile, oh, I'd like to say we're going to win 1 0. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Definitely. Holland up next. They get a bit wobbly in tournaments, don't they? We've got a good record against the Netherlands. Hopefully Robin will do a hamstring and we'll win 1-0. That's pretty good. Six points going into We're the Spain game. We're six points. <laughs> you can just play your second team for the Spain game. <laughs> Sit back and relax. Yeah, we'll relax against Spain and get ready for whoever we play in the next group. Mm. But yeah, Spain, I think they're the scary ones. They'll lose 5-0 against Spain, I think. That'd be an interesting group. So six points, two wins, and then yeah, we're smashed through. by Spain. You're through. And we've rested against Spain and we're ready to play who the next round. Realistically, which two teams are going to qualify from that group? I think you'd have to say Spain and Netherlands, given they, they played off in the last World Cup final. If Australia get knocked out, which is possible, yeah. who is your second team? Probably Colombia and anyone against England. Oh, come anyone on. Anyone against England. Come on, really? Yeah. Are they the team you want to see suffer the most, England? Yes, I think. I couldn't handle it if you wanted it. We'd never hear the end of it. Well, one thing's for sure, loads of Aussie fans going over. We'll be yep. making some noise, as all the fans passion. do. Well, definitely, we, we won't um, fall short on the passion stakes, that's for sure. Well, good luck. Enjoy it's it. good stuff. Thank you. Thanks for chatting to us. Thank oh, you. Have a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was the most negative Australian I've ever met in my life. Yeah, amongst them, wasn't he? Wasn't very confident at all. What about you? How do you think Australia will do in the group stages? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like the fan previews, you want to see more, click here. For something a little bit different, click there. Or subscribe somewhere here.